Alright, 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 for real, for real, for The real problem with the black community. I don't think he's talking about just content creation here. I don't think he is. You know, black people have a problem. Five actually got nothing to talk about. And before I talk about these problems, I need to make a disclaimer. Look, in no way. Wait, 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 wait. This is another black brother. I gotta give him the light. I gotta show him the love. You know what I'm saying? I gotta show him the love. But I will take that shit away if he says some crazy shit. I'm, I'm just you saying. You can bring down the black community by making these videos. Oh, All I'm trying to do with this Jeez, video brother. is just bring awareness to our. Wait, problem. wait, wait! Quick question, quick question. This might be random. For the people in Ireland, are y'all are y'all still in summer? Are y'all still in school? Is what I was asking. And give our community as Shout a whole some constructive criticism. Now, without the way, let's get to problem number one. Black people love to glorify degenerate culture. All right, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know why, but the black community as a whole just loves glorifying degenerate shit. Whether it's trapping, being a hoe, hell, even killing. It's like a whoa, 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 whoa. It's all entertainment purposes. I'm not really in the trap for real. Just hood I'm areas. Sure. If you're the most well-known trapper, you're the king of that area, and kids look up to you. For some reason, Facts. that same thing is starting to happen for being a hoe. Like no other race glorifies shit like that, bro. Except us. Black people are the only type of people that will look at a regular nine to five average guy and will call that nigga lame all because he doesn't trap and have a Hellcat. That shit makes That's absolutely facts, though. zero sense. And That's for no reason, being. A I mean, I might sound wrong, but like. We ain't gonna take niggas not gonna take their job serious for real. Like they don't really got like the like the, the like, like the same like glistening glamour as like you know what I'm saying a trap star or you know whatever. What do we, nowadays I seen an election with a fucking scat pack. My neighbor literally has a fucking scat pack. This nigga has a regular nine to five. I, I, I don't look. I don't even say I don't look up to him. But it's like if shit fucks up, like if the streaming shit doesn't go well, I still got a chance. I'm chatting. I'm chatting. I'm just. Chatting. Yo, ho is just. Popular as hell right now. Like it feels like a good portion of black women yeah. only want to be outside. Everyone wants to have a roster. Everybody Yo. wants to be outside. Wait, 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 brother, don't say that. Do not. Ain't nothing wrong with having a roster, okay? If you got, you gotta let them know up front, though. You know what I'm saying? You gotta let them know because if you don't let them know ahead of time, then you just playing them, and you don't want to play nobody. Because if you play somebody, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just, it's just wrong, bro. It's just wrong. Be hoes for these trappers instead of being a hoe for Jesus. Y'all get the point though. Black, okay, black people just glorify this shit way more than any other race. And I feel like a big reason for that is our role models, bruh. Cause when you really just think about it, who are the main role models for our kids in the black community? Sexy Red! I know it! Yes! <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong. Hey, okay, wait. I kind of just, I kind of just dick right there a little bit. I just fuck with Sissy Red Beast though. You know what I'm saying? As the, her persona though, I mean, shit, man. She got her moments, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like she kind of, she kind of, she kind of threw me off with the whole like she accidentally posted her like, you know what I'm saying on the story. You know, y'all know. Um, I'm yapping right now. Our community doesn't have good role models. That's why we suffer from this massive. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Slow. Okay, okay. You're looking in the wrong areas, bro. You got, you got, who you got? You got Denzel Washington. You got. I'm buffering. You got Summers. Um, you got, you got Caribou. You got. Bro, you got some good role models out there, bro. I ain't gonna lie. You got uh, J. Cole. Um, nah, if I say Frank Ocean, y'all just gonna be like ducking niggas. Cardi, yes, you got Cardi. I'm tripping. Um, you got Kanye at times. Like, you got so many. You got so many other role models, bro. You just gotta look in the right spot, bro. Like you, you, you just purposely being a dickhead if you just looking up to niggas like Diddy or some shit. Like, open your eyes, bro. Because when Doctor Umar is the only guy who's speaking some, and I truly mean some, good principles, and my brother in Christ, we are fucking cooked. Speaking of cooked, though, a lot of oh, people. Oh, how can I forget Vince Staples? He's the realest fucking rap I've ever seen, bro. He speaks the truth, but he's just. He's just funny about it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Niggas gonna take him as a joke. But he's dead ass. Mindsets about money and status are very, very cooked. Which leads us to our next problem. We care about money and status way too much. Like, bro, a lot of black people will literally do anything for money, bro. Except work a regular job. Like, I'm telling you, black people are- Hold on, wait. What's wrong with chasing the bag, though, twin? Like, 
Like, what's wrong with that, though? I need you to clarify. We're truly some of the hardest workers and smartest people when we really, truly put our mind to it. But the only f***ing problem is, is that we always put all of our effort into the wrong shit. Slip. Like, instead of trying to Slip. be doctors, lawyers, astronauts, and hell, even politicians, all niggas want to do is become trappers, scammers, and rappers. Every single black... But you gotta, but you gotta think about, like, the environment, though, twin. Like, if if a nigga just spawns in into like section eight housing, like that's all he's gonna see, bro. So it's just like a constant cycle, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm not justifying this shit though, but you gotta see like the other side of the coin of it, bro. Like it's gonna be hard. This video. Listen to what I'm saying right now. There is right. nothing wrong with working a regular nine to five job, and a good amount of black people are starting to realize that. But for the people who still are trapped into the mindset of trapping and scamming being the only way, stop that shit. Because the only place that will lead you to is a jail cell or a fucking coffin. And if you watched any drug crime show like That's Snowfall true. or Power, you will quickly realize that. But a yeah, big yeah, reason yeah, though yeah. why we go so hard to get money, most of the time, isn't even for a beneficial purpose. Because wow. the only thing that niggas want to do when they get their money is spend it on meaningless shit. All okay. Okay, wait, okay. He might have just got my ass there slick. He might have just got my ass there slick. I was working like this, like this little postal job. Like it was seasonal though. 18, 19, you know what I'm saying? Fresh out of high school type of shit. I'm getting paid like 600 a week, right? And mind you, think about it. I'm just getting out of high school, okay? I barely have any responsibilities and I'm just getting 600 a weekly like, like this, you know what I'm saying? And think about the under... Wait, no, nah, I didn't get the unemployment checks. But those was crazy, too. My friends were getting the unemployment checks in quarantine. If you know, you fucking know. I was getting 600 weekly, and it just kept stacking. Like, I'll get six. I'll spend a little bit of that six. Boom, I'll get nine. And it just kept going and kept going. And then, bro, eventually, I could have really saved that money and then, like, invested it into something I would want to potentially do in the future. For example, this. Or... Better production quality. Look at this. My speaker stand is literally leaning. It looks like I ain't gonna say that. Yeah, I'm lost. I just lost. So that we can flex on other people. We buy shoes, clothes, chains. Oh, oh, what I did with the money, bro. I spent that shit on bullshit, bro. Like I spent my, I spent that shit on like I bought the, I bought, I bought the fire red fours. Them shits just dropped too, bro. Y'all bought the Fire at Fours. I bought hella BBC. Um, Billionaire Boys Club, bro. Not like... Think think purely, you know what I'm saying? I just bought hella bullshit, bro. And then I eventually ended up like taking an L when I had to sell them, bro. Exactly, bro. You, you, you start to look back on it, bro. Like every time I buy something on the game, bro, I get that email from PlayStation, bro. And I look at that email, I'll be like, damn, this shit could have went to gas, bro. <sighs> even cars why do you think <clears throat> every single black person who has money also owns a hellcat all that black people care about is their status in society that's why you have niggas perfectly fun with being trappers just because it's looked at as cool in the black community mm. we as a whole community need to have better aspirations bro because there is no reason why you should be spending 300 dollars on shoes that only cost 20 dollars to make hey 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 that's not our fucking fault what the f hey Hold on, now you fucking tweaking. That's not our fucking fault. These resellers fucked up the market, bro. Like, fuck we supposed to do about it, bro? Like, you know what I'm saying? But, you just have a point. Why well, buy the shoes then if it's gonna be $300? You just have a point. Can't even lie. Shops. Like, niggas are dead ass selling their souls just so they can get the Facts, money. Facts, man. Instead of robbery, bro. Highway robbery. But, what's also fucked up is that we're all some hating ass motherfuckers. Would y'all suck a dick to save y'all mom's life? Yeah. That's a good question. Which is problem number three. Black people love to hate on other black people. Yeah, that's facts. Price. I'm telling you right now, black people literally hate on you for doing anything. But you can even be trying to better yourself by reading a book. Bro. I swear to God, niggas will be on your ass talking about, damn nigga, why the fuck you reading that shit? No, no, no. I realized, I realized something was fucked up with us in the community, bro. When like, you try to show some support to somebody, bro. It could be somebody locally. It can be somebody with the, you know what I'm saying? You can be showing support to them. Ah, uh -uh. next thing you know, you get called a dick rider.
Yo, how am I dick riding if you just showing support to the nigga, bro? Especially if it's your mans, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just showing support to my mans. How is that dick riding? Stupid ass trying to get smarter and shit. Shut the fuck up. Like, can we not just applaud our own people when we do good? We don't always gotta be so negative, bro. And the worst part about it is, is that the main that be hating be living the sorriest lives. Facts. It feels like a lot more nah, people facts. glorify poverty and being from the hood. White people don't glorify being from the goddamn trailer parks. And it's gotten so bad that I was on TikTok the other day, and I swear to God, I literally seen two niggas having a fucking broke off. The niggas was going cent for cent, trying to see who was more in poverty like that shit is absolutely insane bro if whatever reason it's also become a trend for black women to hate on white girls just because black men are starting to like white women like they're i'm with the i'm with the black women on that bro i can't even lie bro even though i have said in the past that i would take down a white girl bro i've never said that i would ever like lock in and date one bro you know what i'm saying i'm not against them or nothing but it's just not my preference to have as my spouse you know what i'm saying like there's a lot of things wrong i can't see off, i can't I, get nah, mad nah. white women for black men being attracted to them like what the fuck do you want them to do be ugly second thing black men have always loved white women i mean where do you think mixed babies came from that shit yeah. came from shout out like a little bit more than three inches and third but most importantly if black men like white women more than black women maybe just maybe the problem is actually black women. So nah, real black. shit. No, real shit. Real shit. This is actually like a genuine. The fuck was that? There's actually like a genuine issue amongst the, 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 the black queen section of our community. Okay. It's just, it's just, it's always, it's always some, 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 I don't know, bruh. I feel like, I feel like, especially in these, like, female groups, the female friend groups, bro, they slick hate on each other, bro. I've never seen, okay, I've never seen a female friend group last beyond two years max. Maybe three years. I'm probably stretching it to three years, but two years max. I've never seen it. They might break apart or whatever, whoop de whoop One girl don't fuck with each other. Uh, One girl fucked up her wig. Uh... Oh girl, oh girl didn't pay me back for the Cancun trip. Oh, they just they just don't fuck with each other, bro. I don't I don't know, I don't understand the statistics like how it even happens on like why it even happens. It's just always some type of drama that leads up to them not fucking with each other. You know what I mean? Women, let me say that. And also, there's nothing wrong with a black man like a white woman. I like white women. I just love black women too. That's nice. I mean, there's nothing wrong. With that. But something I know that is that. wrong is our goals and aspirations, which is number. It feels like nowadays the main goals for black men growing up is to either become an athlete or a rapper. And if those things fail, they want to become a trapper. Like to all my black men. Nah, nah, nah. Where are, where are you at? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Because maybe, man, I, I, damn, I might be out of touch. Niggas move to the suburbs. I don't see that shit. I don't see that shit. I, I got I to gotta, I gotta partner down the street. Dead ass. Bro is, is dead as destined to be an engineer, bro. He does not want to be nothing else, bro. Dude does not, he barely be on the game. He don't do nothing else, bro. That boy be straight up in the books, boy. And that's a real nigga, bro. I gotta appreciate him for that, bro. He's really on his shit. You know what I'm saying? Now, amongst like being an athlete slash rapper slash trapper, whoop de woo um i feel like everyone wants to be an athlete okay hmm, no nah, i can't i ain't gonna say that i ain't gonna say that because the niggas gonna be like what what you mean by that um being an athlete especially as an african american african american being an athlete and being good at a at a, at a sport it's definitely an easy way out to get an easy trip to college. Everybody knows that. Everybody knows that, bro. It can, you can be good at any sport. You're going to fuck, fuck around and get a full ride. Like, like for example, golf, bro. Golf. I'm, I almost fucked around and became a golfer, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, 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 peep game, peep game. I was practicing everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, hold up.
more to life than becoming a rapper or an athlete, right? Like, I feel like that's every black man's goal growing up, bro, for whatever reason. And why don't we want to become astronauts or, like, doctors and shit? Or, hell, even photographers, bro. Like, there's so bro, many other cool... That shit expensive as fuck, nigga. Like, bro, that shit costs hella bread, nigga. Like, oh, my gosh, bro. You know, I'm, and, and plus, bro, that's OD school, bro. That's OD school, bro. Like, oh my gosh, bro. I looked up how to be a OB. I was going to be an OBGYN, bro. Can y'all believe I can be a doctor, though? Can y'all believe it? I was going to be one of them, bro. Shit said, like, some shit like six to like eight years of school, bro. I said, bro. It was something like that. It was beyond four years, bro. I said, you know what, bro? I'm not touching that. No, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it, bro. I'm not doing it, bro. I can't do it. Cool job. They tried to go. But, but he does have a point, though. He does have a point, though. Why don't nobody want to be, you know what I'm saying? Trades are good as well. Trades are actually great. Like being an electrician, plumber. Everybody, that's like a high demanding jobs, bro, because everybody's going to need a plumber. Everybody's going to need a, 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 electrician. Everyone's going to need one of them, bro. Like, doctors too. Everyone's going to be a new doctor. But I might be worried for this generation of doctors. I can't even lie. I might be worried if I had to take to my, take one of my kids to one of the, one of y'all niggas. I ain't going to lie. I'm gonna be kind of scared. I'm gonna be kind of scared because niggas kind of cheated their way through college with, with Chat GPT. I'm just saying, I'm not fucking with it. I'm not fucking with it. The league would just most likely not for the happy let's be real. Damn. Or trying to become a famous Oh, how's that, John? How's that? How's like being most likely not for the happy? Damn. Like, those things are way harder to do than people think, bro. Having regular goals and passions is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And for some of y'all black women, yes, I said some. I'm not going to associate this with the whole community. I will never understand the mentality of the blessed with life, being blessed with goals and aspirations. And wanted to throw all that away just because of a nigga mama. Like, that makes no sense to me at all. I don't understand how black no. women look up to these rapper baby mamas. Like, I'm not no, gonna no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Slow down, bro. Slow down, bro. Wait, wait. Most of the time, okay, most of the time, it don't even be like, them looking up to the baby mother, right? It's more so like they be messing around with one dude, ah, ah, ah. You know what I'm saying? Bro shoots the club up and then, you know, then comes the decision whether they want to keep the kid or not keep the kid. And sometimes if the woman is a child of God, she's going to choose to keep the kid. And that's how they end up as being baby moms. Or... If we say the bad ending, um, oh, do gonna say, man, get that kid. I don't want him. I don't want the kid no more. I don't want the kid, bro. Oh, God, I don't want the kid. And then Shari told my son, no, you gotta have the kid. No, Jamal, you gotta have the kid. You, he's, he's our child. Bro. Man, fuck that kid, bro. I don't want that need no more, bro. Fuck that kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? Then situations like that kind of happen. Where she just forced to be a baby mom. And then bro, bro, old dude just dips out on her, bro. That's how it be. names, but y'all know the ones I'm talking about. But yeah. there are, I, I keep, I keep, I keep fucking doubling back with my, with my, with my statements, bro. There, I, there are some girls that be looking up to like Ari Fletcher and shit. Tell me something. They trying to knock up like a rapper or some shit. There's most girls in Atlanta that really be smashing these other dudes. To pay their rent. Or it's like to get a Chanel bag afterwards. And some of y'all niggas be tricking, bro. That's a real big PSA, bro. Y'all need to stop tricking, bro. Because y'all fucking up the market, bro. Y'all really fucking up the market, bro. Y'all really got all these girls out here expecting a fucking Birkin or some type of Richard Milley. Some some absurd some absurd shit, okay? you Y'all expecting too much out of this, bro. Like, okay, slow it down. We ain't never... We ain't, Look at the environment I'm in. Chanel? Look at me. I haven't even shaved. And you asking Chanel? Come on. Let's be realistic with each other, man.
women are literally famous because they got a fat BBL and got pregnant by a rapper. And all that these women do is just post on Instagram and get into meaningless drama with other female baby mamas. Like we as a collective people gotta be more realistic with our goals, bruh. There's nothing wrong with working regular nine to five office jobs or even being blue collar workers. But like, no one wants that as a goal right? though, brother. Think about that though. Think about that though. Like nobody wants that as a goal though. Like, yeah, let's be, we can be realistic with each other and be like, okay, if this doesn't work out, then yeah, I'm gonna just have to be doing this. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just that, it's that part of reality. But then, you know, it's just like, people have dreams, people have like ambitions to be like something that they truly dream to want to be. Like, some people actually want to be a rapper, or some people just actually dream to be rich. It could be, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it could be on their mind, they have their own goals, you know? But nobody dreams to just work a nine to five, bro. Nobody does that. Let's let's be so real with each other. Nobody dreams for that shit. I don't, I'm working a nine to five. I, I fucking hate that shit. You know what I'm saying? If it's it's probably it'll probably more so be a a good a better nine to five if it was more so in the field that you more that you you know that you like. You know what I'm saying? As long as you're provided for your family, all is well. It's just a lot of people don't care about their families, which unfortunately is problem number five, which I also think is the biggest problem. We as a community don't care about our kids, and we're ah. also not there for them. What's the most common stereotype made against black men, specifically black fathers? Black fathers abandoning their kids. For whatever reason, a lot of black men just aren't there for the kids. And honestly, I feel like that's one of, if not the biggest problem in the mm. black community. Family is the most important thing. I got my dad though. I love my dad. In, in most of our lives. Because no matter what, family is always going to be there for you. And if it's not there for you, that's when you start getting fucked up in the head. Which is why I feel like this generation of black people was cheated out of a lot of things. And you can mm. really see that effect on how our generation is turning out to be. But I'm going to just put it like this. As a whole Talk community, black people have just kind of abandoned the concept of family. We should mm. not be letting these black women raise these kids all by themselves. And as black men, we have to step up and be there for your kids no matter what. And as a community, we have to bring no, the fucks. idea and the concept of the family back. Because truthfully and honestly, if we had a better concept of family, I feel like our whole community would be in a better place right now. Thanks. But Fair. besides that, that's it. That's obvious. Appreciate though. all y'all for watching. Follow if you're new. I follow with you, twin. I'm a follow with you. You know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm subscribed to you, bro. You're a cool dude. I fuck with you. I fuck with you.